The boss of the Mirror newspaper group, Sly Bailey, has always denied her journalists hacked phones. When the disgraced News of the World folded, she printed extra copies of her own Sunday newspapers, trusted and respected brands, she called them. But in a witness statement, a former reporter on the People newspaper, David Brown, said his colleagues regularly hacked phones to get stories. He said, a number of methods used to pry into individuals' lives were illegal, and I have little doubt that if these people knew they had been spied upon, they would take legal action for breach of their right to privacy. The TV star Ulrika Johnson had her mobile phone hacked by the people, said the reporter. I was sent to Sweden to doorstep and confront a British man living in Stockholm. After being told, he had been in mobile phone contact with the TV presenter Ulrika Johnson on the basis of information gleaned from her mobile phone. This was done by screwing or tapping Miss Johnson's phone's message bank. The reporter said other targets were Big Brother star Jade Goody, TV presenter Noel Edmonds, Coronation Street actress Tina O'Brien, boxer Frank Bruno and EastEnders' Jesse Wallace. All of them, he said, had people stories written about them based on information from their mobile phones. Reporter David Brown wrote his witness statement after the paper fired him. He'd been accused of stealing unused stories from other papers within the group. His colleagues, he said, were guilty of far worse, phone hacking. He claimed unfair dismissal, but the company agreed a secret settlement with him. David Beckham was featured, said the reporter, after the people hacked the phone of his children's nanny. A front-page story alleged that the footballer had left angry messages on her phone. When he complained, the paper quickly paid him compensation, and it did so, said the reporter, because it couldn't admit to phone hacking. The Fleet Street hacking scandal emerged after the arrest of the News of the World royal editor Clive Goodman. That was the 8th of August 2006. David Brown wrote, On the 8th of August 2006, a senior human resources manager contacted executives on Trinity Mirror's national titles to tell them that if they were asked by other newspapers or trade publications whether they had used information from screwed mobile phones, they should deny it. The advice indicates that a major media PLC was not only allowing its staff to carry out illegal activity by, at best, turning a blind eye to it, but also taking part in an organised cover-up of that activity. Trinity Mirror told us, These are unsubstantiated allegations. All our journalists work within the criminal law and the Press Complaints Commission's Code of Conduct. We have seen no evidence to suggest otherwise. <laughs>